What's up, bottles? Trouble. Hey, this is not your apartment. We have a good guy club meeting right now. Yeah, since we moved in here, everything was painted brown, so I decided to go very light with everything, and now I'm kind of over it. So I'm going to do an accent wall over here. The bad news is, I only have one working arm. Because the chainsaw cord, the pull mechanism, pulled my arm right out of the socket. So I have to go see a doctor about that one. So I'm going to try to do this with one arm. Hey, you guys having a good guy club meeting? Ah, oh, labor, not so close. Two more bottles, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, chomp chomp. So I finished cutting in. As being somebody who's made their money making paintings, I hate painting a wall. So I just paint it and I, of course I'll paint it over it, whatever. And also I'm only, and also I'm doing this with one arm and one knee. I have a blown out meniscus in my knee and some sort of rotator cuff, which I am just keeping ice on it. So that was, uh, it's tough to cut in on the bottom, but hopefully this comes up pretty cool. There's so many projects that I can't stop to get surgery on my shoulder. Nope, not now, not now. I have so much stuff to do. I gotta do trim. All around there, trim up top. Oh look, who's that? Oh no, it's a good guy club. They cause nothing but trouble. They should be called the Cretan Club. Ah! Okay, so the one arm bandit, it's done it. Did it along. I still have some trim work to do, but it's a king size bed with a tree LED. Sorry about the buzz, that's the AC. It gets extremely warm in here. This is the color. I gotta put trim. I have to use uh, corner trim. That's the color. That's beer, marquee. And the uh, next thing I have to do is reprogram Oh, I can't use my arm. I'll move my arm. Let's see. Yep. I have to reprogram my ceiling fan. It's just not working. So we shall see. But for now, I will place it up here. I did put the battery in. Okay, use my left arm. Okay. So that accent wall is done. Now I'm going to move on to building a accent wall with a record player and a bunch of trim, all with handheld tools. So hopefully I can do it, guys. One arm with a bad knee, one shoulder with a bad knee. I'll get it done. I'll do it anyway. So tell me what you guys think in the comments. Yay or nay? I think it's pretty cool. It's better just having everything being the same color. Like I said, this room was brown on brown. It was dual crap brown on cat crap brown. So, at that point, they made everything a very light color just to get away from that. But now I want the little excitement. I did that with my paints, and this is... I put the plexiglass in there. And I did designs. It's half frosted, half not, with a bunch of designs. Hard to see. In my first video, I showed better. And this is just a little thing I did for now. Because there's no doors here. So now we have a door. I gotta finish trimming it out, finish deciding what I'm gonna do with it. But at least one wall in the house is halfway done. Alright, guys, on to the next one. Hey, guys. So this is the next project of the accent walls. This is just a very boring wall. It was dog crap brown with cat crap brown trim. So I went with just a a tan and white it's a big wall so we're going to try to make something cool out of it 
All right, I just did the mock-up. Of course, I forgot to record it while I had the mock-up on the wall. But these are all the pieces. They're all cut to size. Using a handsaw with a bad shoulder, so it took me forever. Not 100% straight, but I will try to fix those. It is right now 101 degrees out here. So it feels like it's 115, and it does. It's really bright. So I do not know the drying time. I know usually every single drying time for every type of paint, but I don't know. Spray enamel usually to cure will take two hours in 65, 70 degree weather. So in 101, 115 with humidity, I'm saying probably minutes. I just sprayed this and let's see. Yeah, I sprayed that under five minutes ago. I sprayed it, ran inside, got my camera and it's that dry. You can see I was like, oh crap, I better get my camera. So. I would get to spray these. I'm going to spray them, build little shelves for them, and the mock-up looked really cool. So I have to paint the wall and uh, put it all together. Hopefully it cools down a little bit. Beautiful flowers. OCD Joe. Focus on the hot weather and the painting. Okay, cool. Be back. And we're back. So this is what we got so far. I did the mock-up, like I said. I made shelves, they have one coat of paint, it's, an, it's a spray enamel, so I'm probably going to roll on something that's a little more flat, because this isn't the best wood, all this wood cost me like $22, and what I did was I took 2 by one cut it down to size with my little, with my miter saw, and this is one by one and I adhered it. I drilled little holes, put screws in it, so now I have somewhat of a shelf. The only thing old records and you know, Christmas stockings and stuff like that. Still needs more coats of paint. It's 115 degrees with the humidity level right now, so it's really hot. I figured I mastered a paint technique from a street artist going back probably about 20 plus years. Uh, it's basically based on uh, uh, space art. And I used to do space art once in a while. To me, it was, it was very simple. It wasn't hard once you learned the technique. It's just doing the same thing over and over. But what we would do was take items and do the same thing. Now, this is just the first coat. It does involve using usually black paint. Uh, on my uh, Instagram, you'll see some of my uh, references. I got back into it recently, but I thought this would be kind of cool to do with a shelf. So I decided to do this with the shelf and the brackets. Now, right now, is the, that's the first coat. That's, what you, that's what's going to make it almost look 3D-ish, if that makes sense. What happens next is... Once this dries, I'm going to put another coat. That's going to be like, almost like a dusting. It's almost look like a haze. And then one more coat that's a little more defined. And then I take dish, dish. And then I take dish detergent, like regular Dawn or Gain. And I make designs on it. And while that's on the item, I will spray it, in this case, white. I'm going to do a reverse. Usually it's black. And when... Uh, the white paint dries in this case. I'm used to saying black paint. And the white paint, oh, that's Fred Bird. Fred Bird, what's up? Fred Bird's my homie. Uh, in this case, see OCD. In this case, it's going to be white paint. I'm going to paint over the dish soap, if that makes sense. Once the white paint dries, then I take a hose and wash everything off. And because the dish soap is an emulsifier, it's going to stay wet. It's going to leave everything that's dry, being the white, which is going to look like it's on top, and it's going to look like all these colors, which it's so sunny, but it's hard to see. This is just a Home Depot shelf. I can't really hold it any further out. My bootleg arm, my rotator cuff is burning. I'll put that down. Ouch. Woo but yes. So this is going to be 
little different. So I decided to do the brackets. These were brackets I got at home, uh, uh, Hyper Toughest Walmart. I got these, I think they were five bucks each, five or six dollars each. And these have like five coats of paint on them right now. It's drying very quickly because it's hot. I don't know how this will dry. I've never painted a laminated piece of wood, so we'll see what happens. Worst comes to worst, I'll get, just get another one and, you know, uh, it was brown, I don't want brown, I want to go everything uh, white. So I hope that made sense, how I explained how you do the process. You do pick colors that are like-minded colors. I do have yellow, I could have thrown yellow in there, but being that I'm doing it a white uh, over color, I didn't want to go with anything too light. So I picked the darker, that's like a, uh, what do they call it? So this is a magenta, this is grape. Uh, seaside and this one is lilac even lilac was a little too light I barely have any lilac I don't want to compete with the white if that makes sense on the uh, on the palette you don't want to compete with the white you want everything that's not white to really pop that's why I put a heavy magenta heavy blues heavy purples you know and then once the white goes on the soap goes on everything gets drizzled it's going to give it a popping look of uh, fog and almost like a space style look. That's what I'm up to right now. I have to go get more wall anchors and uh, I'm going to give this another coat. I'll show you guys when I hose it off. So it's been about an hour. Everything feels dry. It's 100 plus degrees out. Even now, it's after 6. It's actually 7. Got a little windy, but we're in the shade. So it feels nice and cool, but still in the probably mid to low 90s here. So basically what we're going to do now is, let's see if I get bad shoulders, can barely hold this, okay. I usually do it my left hand, but I can't get the extension. Now what you do is you take just regular, doesn't have to be anything, have to be anything special, just regular dish detergent. This is just gain. And what you do is you just drizzle different designs I'm not going to go too crazy with it just nice and because this is not going to stay on there now you don't want to do too much you know, wherever your brain tells you you need some my brain tells me I need one right across there like that now I like that. Now my brain is also telling me I need a little more of this. No. These are a little bit more difficult because of the angle. I've never done them on. I've only done them on canvases and papers. So we shall see. Now what I do is I go get my white paint, which I have up here. This is Gloss, give it a good shaking, get the soap out of the way, so we're going to pop this off with one hand, I used to be able to, okay, clear that cap, you don't need any special cap with this one, so what we're doing is, Let's see what happens. It's all about the art, right? So I made my living the last 20 years, plus 20, oh, 24 years now. Jeez, getting old. The hands hurt. I want to just cover it. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit these edges also. I said I have no idea what's gonna happen with this. Nice thing about art is it sucks. 
You always just do it again. You know who taught me that? Bob Ross. There are no mistakes. These lines were never done, ever. Now, you know what happens? You let it dry. So you let that dry, you'll see, if you notice, the paint is floating on the soap. The soap will not let the paint adhere to certain parts. So we shall see. So I get that? Let me get some more of that, see? I'm just gonna double check your work. That's gonna take probably about Let's sit out here for probably about half an hour. Make sure, always look it over. The OCD, just like Joe, get your OCD. Make sure anything you don't like, take care of now. OCD. I'm gonna probably look at this for the next 25 minutes straight anyway, so. I will come back when I hose it off. But that's basically how this uh, style of art is done. You do. Leave a comment below if you want me to show you how to do it on a canvas or a board. It's pretty cool because I mean, you can get some really different designs and techniques. You can use it as a background. Uh, you could use it just as something abstract. You could sell them on Etsy. You could sell them on. Uh, Facebook Marketplace, depending on how good you get at it. I, I'm, I haven't done these in a long time. I, I, it's not my forte. I know how to do it. I've you know, done it a long time, done it well for a long time. But pop art really is my forte. But I do understand how to do abstract. I know how to do space art. I know how to do pop art. I know how to do oil, painting. I understand nature, flowers. I'm not saying I'm great at nature of flowers because, you know, once again, Bob Ross, he was the master of it. But I will leave it there and I'll come back when I uh, host this off. What are you doing, wasp? It has a big wasp. Oof. While I'm waiting for my paint to dry so I can hose it off, I am going to be caulking this before it gets its final coat of paint. I'm going to be rolling paint on for the final coat. I sprayed enamel on here. I'm going to be rolling on a nice thick, it's almost like a creamy white, just to give it almost that that fake wood look, or the expensive wood look, because this is very cheap wood I used. Like I said, all this wood here, you can see how bad it's, I mean, I, I had to look through a ton of their wood at the big box store, but I had to look through all their wood just to get seven pieces of a dollar twenty wood and oh wait, seven pieces of two dollar wood and three pieces of a dollar or five wood. Everything was under twenty dollars. I think it was sixteen dollars. So adding the silicone on there. Paint, you're probably about 25 bucks. It's nothing, uh, it's not hard. Oh, the other paint was uh, the paint I'm doing on the wall. I got, I did get decent paint that was like $27. So, you're looking under 50 bucks, you could do this project. And if you want the designs, I will link them in my brain because that's the only place they are. So, sorry. But if you need any help, just leave a comment and I'll definitely uh, message you if you want to help building this. Uh, Call the media wall. I'm going old school. Well, do not fall. Do not fall. Wood. I'm going old school with the record player. It's Bluetooth that hooks up to my soundbar. I tested it. It sounds pretty good. I was pretty surprised. Well, I mean, it's a soundbar playing with the record. But yeah, so I'm going to silicone this. And then we'll go back to paint. Okay. So, feels pretty dry. Let's give it a shot. See what happens. Because, oh, I can't do this on him. Oh, having one hand sucks. I put you in for a second. Get 
the hose going. And it takes away all the soap. So just keep washing away the soap. And you might have some lines that are not clean. You just have to get in there a little tighter with the water. Okay, bracket splash back. So we learned that one the hard way. You know, I did not get enough soap on the brackets. So I probably will just paint them white. It takes a couple minutes, take your time, there's no rush. Otherwise you're gonna get these little floppy pieces of paint. Like I said, I didn't know how I was gonna react on this board. This is a like a laminated Walmart shelf. I know how how much soap to use on canvases. You know how much soap to use on poster boards. Well, on Walmart laminated shelves, I don't know, I have no idea. Your guess is as good as your guess. So, let's make sure to get all the stuff off. And that's what the cool shelf's gonna look like. I think instead of just having a brown or white shelf, let's see if I can shut this hose off. Nope. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. So, I clear coated it. Looks really cool. I just think about how much I'm really enjoying this project. Like, besides making the garden, which I got a ton of tomatoes still to pick. You know, besides doing a couple of you know, odds and ends. Most of the stuff in the house I've been doing is just doors and just painting over brown. Tree removal, hurting myself doing that. So when I started this project, I was like, ah, oh, I gotta do something that's a little artistic at least. So like, this has really just been a fun project. It really hasn't been costly, hasn't been pricey. Like I said, with the record player and a couple of records were about a hundred bucks. You could do Obviously, if you have a record player or a CD player or a tape player or a laser disc player or just you know, put up pictures of your kids, you could do this, uh, you know, all for like maybe 30 bucks, not nah, 50 bucks with uh, changing the wall paint. But it just, it's just, you know, feels good to do something else. The only thing now I'm kind of wishing I would have done, I should have done this style, you know, Soapy splatter on every... Ah, that would be too much. I don't want to look like a laser light show. Ah, I think that's just enough uh, soapy splatter. But I'm going to paint all these, which is not going to take me long. It's only like six or seven pieces. I silicone all the pieces together that uh, where I made like the little shelf. So, just wanted to tell you guys, you know, just do something also, you know. If you're working on a house or, you know, working off the grid, yeah, those really are nice for hours, though. Come on. We'll see the Joe. Get back to it. Just take time out and just do something you like for once. Like, even if you're just doing floor tiles. Like, I have to do uh, I, the kitchen floor. I did the bathroom floor upstairs. I got to do the downstairs bathroom floor. The downstairs stairs, little dog area we're building. And uh, the kitchen. I'm going to tile that probably with travertine. And that just kills the knees and the shoulders. And it's not fun. So, I really want to throw this one in. Because this is fun. This is something I just enjoy doing. Alright, I'll get back at it and I'll show you guys how the progress is going. Bottles is upstairs. Because he poops on the floor. You know, he goes outside, he comes back inside and he poops on the floor. So now he's hiding. He's not in trouble, he just, he's just dummy. Dumb dumb. Come on down. Look, your brother's even wearing his tail. <laughs> Come on, 
So this is the wall. So I'll pre-tap where all the good stuff is going. We'll give it a paint and we'll get rid of some of the, the boringness of it. Okay, we're back. The wall is painted. I have all the trim, all the uh, shelving. Let's try this. Three, two, one. Oh, I can't raise my hand. Damn, didn't work. Let's try it again. Three, two, one. And that's how it's done. That quick. So here we have my little. I picked this up at Walmart. It's forty-four dollars. There's the custom shelf you guys helped me build. Let me close this. Fits nicely on there. The only thing left to do is do some silicone. The kids are sleeping. Bottles you sleeping. Leo, are you waking up? Chump chump just ran upstairs. He's going to bed. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it guys. If you found this useful at all, if you find what we're doing in the old abandoned homestead, off the grid useful, give us a like, give us a comment, give us a subscribe. we we'll be doing a lot more things like this. Maybe not as much fun as this. This one I really did have a good time. But we will be doing a lot of projects in the house. The whole house is getting redone. A little bit at a time. Need more records. That's for sure. Need records. Which records? Leave a comment below. What records should I get? I know one of them is going to be Nine Inch Nails, probably Nirvana, probably My Chemical Romance. Uh, we have Billy Squire, Matchbox 20, Robert Palmer, and Hallouts. That's what we could find. That's what we had. We didn't have really many records. Like, we had no records. Oh, well, where the heck we even found these? But, yeah. So, uh, leave a comment below. If you want to see my artwork, the link is in the description below. If you want to join my Facebook fan page for my artwork, the link is in the description below. If you want to join Bottles Instagram Cool Kid Club, link is in the description below. All the good stuff is down there. Please hit that subscribe. Let's get to 10,000, 5,000, 4,000. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. My other channel has almost 10,000. Let's get this one up there. So this is a custom media record wall. All the trim is done. Just need a little silicone. Hope you guys have a great weekend, week, midweek, whenever you're watching this. Hope you have a great day. Be blessed. And remember, if you feel that you're being bound by the city, come out to the country and touch the ground.